Okay, so made some modifications today. It's raining outside and I was super bored. So you can see both the bulkheads come out from the media tray. There's a tiny little filter back here. Nothing with sponges in there. I don't add anything to the water. This is actually supposed to go on from the island aquarium. I'm just running it for just in case. Plus it makes a little bit more oxygen. You can see the water being exchanged. Both those dumped back in the tank. My Oscar, just chilling. Big old Planko. There's Dempsey. My catfish is around there somewhere. <clears throat> Fountain sun pump runs up. Followed back behind. This manual shut off the line. Comes up. Feeds to the top of this. You can see it's working. Right there. Some crawdad. Some goldfish. They live inside the filter. So, out the side of the filter, two bulkheads. One dumps back into the tank. Boom. So, you have a return that's just basically feeding just the tank itself. Another bulkhead flows out from the filter inside the media tray. Some clippings from the patio. Fills up the tray, approximately two inches. Jumps back to the tank. That water is double filtered. So through the filter, then back to the media tray, then back into the tank. And then, yep. It all works. I built it all. <laughs>
after working. Wednesday, today is October 31st. I started this revamping project. Those are my shelves. There's four rows on that side. Four rows on that side. Down at the bottom, you'll see a bucket, and you'll see what's going to be my my uh, lettuce. There's my tank. When it's all done, there'll be fish in there. This is my aquaponics tank, and I'm using lava rock. I'm waiting on the finances to catch up with my project to get it put together and. My husband's going to make a belt siphon, which will go right in there. On this side, it's not finished yet because I've kind of run out of money before I run out of project. This will be beds as well. I have a grow light, a massive grow light, that will be plugged in for right at 14 to 16 hours a day. Um, on this wall, where it's just cement right now, and you'll see up at the top a valve coming out. That will actually run over to this side and water that, those troughs. And on the bottom, it will have rain gutters that will drain the water back into my tank, which the bell siphon will drain back into, of course, my fish tank. Pretty awesome. I have wheat soaking for fodder and I have lettuce soaking for supper. Thanks. Okay, this is my aquaponics video number three. Uh, we've made some changes. Uh, the first change I really want to show you is I had this custom made uh, solids removing filter. What it does, as you can see, the water is pumped up a Dana Mag Drive 7 pump into a very, very fine screen, and it removes the solids. And I don't know if you can see it, but the solids are sitting on top of the screen, and they just roll down into that collection chamber down there. You can see the, the brownish, that's all yuck. Um, the system is doing pretty good. We have some uh, peppers right there. Uh, moving up, we got a tomato plant. There's some tomatoes coming already. Um, there's the duckweed. It's a natural fish food. And I added the um, I added this tube system, uh, which is doing pretty good. We got some lettuce, some spinach, and some kale growing. That operates on its own Mag 5 pump. Um, these big vines going all the way around is uh, grapes, so hopefully uh, we'll see if we get some nice grapes. And uh, that's it for now. I have, by the way, I have two of these filters that I talked about earlier. Um, if anybody's interested, uh, 175. Uh, I had two of them made, so if anybody wants one, just. Um, Get in touch with me and we can go further. Thank you and have a nice day.